I want to start um, by a lot of thank yous, obviously, but my first thank you will always go to my parents who are here with me. Um, as, a, as a family, when I was six years old, uh, we saw a dream together to play on these kind of courts at Wimbledon, at Grand Slams, and it was so, so special to see that dream, and no one really believed in us except ourselves. So to be standing here and having achieved and being number one in the world was um, a victory for us in so many ways <laughs> than just on the tennis court. So thank you to my uh, mama and baba for every time believing in me, even when nobody else did. <laughs> Um, my sister, who's actually stuck in Dubai traffic, who was supposed to be here, um, uh, to her, she, because without her, I would be nothing. She's my best friend, and I'm so lucky to have a sister like her who supports me through every single decision of mine on and off the court. So without my family, it would have not been possible to be standing here in front of you guys 20 years after I became professional. <clears throat> um, a lot of my uh, professional career and a lot of the things for me in life started in Dubai. Uh, this became a home for me about 12 years ago, but um, 18 years ago in 2005, I had my first ever top 10 singles win here against Kuznetsova, and that kind of changed my life in so many ways. Um, I, uh, if I'm not wrong, I think I had a wild card here. So I want to thank <laughs> um, Mr. Sala for always having our backs, but especially mine, and for supporting um, this side of the world with tennis, because it is really important um, that tennis not just grows, but also grows in parts that it hasn't before. So thank you so much for all that you do and all that you've done for me especially. Um, Dubai is very, very special for me for many reasons, um, more so because it's actually my, it used to be home away from home, but it's actually my home now. I live here and my son goes to school here, so I couldn't have thought of a better place to finish this in front of you all, um, the journey that started 18, 20 years ago. So thank you so much for always making me feel at home, Dubai, even when it wasn't my home. Um, <clears throat> Lastly, I think, you know, there's so many people that come along in this journey of 20 years, and I'm sure I'm going to miss out some people, but all my coaches, the support staff, the physios, the doctors, the psychologists, the, I mean, everybody, the trainers, my friends, I mean, everybody's been part of this and part of this journey. And for me to stand here in front of my four-year-old son and to have said that I just played a Grand Slam final a month and a half ago or a month ago has been so, so special. I never thought that would happen to me. Um, so it's, uh, it's very emotional, uh, but it's also I'm so looking forward to the next chapter of my life. My body is calling out for it. I know <laughs> that my body says that it needs a break. Um, I want a, a special shout out to all the physios who've helped me all over these years. You guys have, you guys do so much work behind the scenes um, of keeping us in one piece. And God knows that's probably the hardest things to do. So thank you so much for always being there, being friends on tour. It gets very lonely out there to everybody on the tour and to, I'll really miss you all, but I'll miss my friends, Madison, Bethany. I mean, there's so many great memories I've made here um, on the tour. Um, I'm not going away, um, but I will miss competing and walking out on these kind of beautiful courts to um, loud cheers and, and to wins and losses. So thank you all again for, for this very, very special honor. And uh, I'll be around, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the six-time Grand Slam champion, the former world number one, Sanya Mirza, who has played her last match here at the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships.